Iman Zakut does her best to keep her tent clean. She's one of the 950,000 women displaced from their homes by Israel's war on Gaza. Here in the Rafah refugee camp, International Women's Day means nothing. Here there's no Women's Day. We do not recognize Women's Day because we do not have women. All the women have been wiped away. Women's Day is somewhere else, outside of Palestine. This is how we celebrate the Women's Day. The moment we get our hands on some salty seawater like this, this is our biggest celebration. This gala must last us for one full month. Since Israeli troops moved into Gaza on October 27th, the UN estimates 63 women a day have been killed in the Strip. That's more than 9,000 in total, and thousands more have been widowed. Women's sanitary products are desperately scarce, and pregnant women and new mothers face a constant struggle to keep themselves and their babies alive in the face of life-threatening shortages of food, water and medical care. There is sadness and hunger and sickness everywhere. What did we do? asks Shahad. We should be in school now. But our schools are gone. Our families are gone. Talk of women's rights brings a bitter response from the displaced. What rights? We were forced out of our homes. Our homes were destroyed, children killed. Are these the guards and women's rights? I wonder where the conscience of the women of the world is. They've been watching us on TV screens, losing our children, while they are preaching to us about human rights, women's rights. Just over 100 years since International Women's Day was first celebrated, in Gaza there's a sense that the war has wiped out decades of progress. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.